want to throw things over to Tammy because, uh, you know, your guy is out. Bernie's out the race. Do you plan to vote in November for Biden or Donald Trump? I'm so excited for this question because y'all know y'all already know, but I want to make it crystal clear. I am not voting for Biden. Okay. My vote is my voice. And I have the choice whether to support a predator on the red, a predator on the blue, or other options. If I choose not to go to the polls, statistically, I become part of the demographic that shows that voters were not satisfied enough with the Democratic uh, candidate uh, to have gone to the polls because I voted for every other, um, well, I voted mostly in line with parties in New York locally. So it shows that I left that party for the presidential. Secondly, um, I'm actually considering voting third party because what do I do when the revolution has been halted? You move on, you change, you change gears as an organizer. Um, I, you know, I am very adamant on the fact that the two party system doesn't work. So why am I gonna throw my vote, my civic voice behind something that I believe is deeply flawed and broken? Why would I do that? Well, I mean, those are strong points. Stanley, do you agree with Tammy? No, I think, do, go, go ahead, Stanley. I think it's misguided and immature. We're literally going through a pandemic that could have been avoided if we had someone who was even slightly competent in office, and a lot of people are going to die because of it. Who gives? Who cares? Like, I'd rather have somebody that can at least get the job done and fight oh. another day for the revolution. You, you give Trump another four years, you think things are bad now, Republicans are going to go all in because there's nothing to stop them and they don't have elections to be afraid of. I don't understand why you would put your political preferences ahead of the lives of millions of black people. I think it's irresponsible. And I think for those of you who are thinking of not voting in New York City, as Bernie Baxter said on Facebook Live, all it takes is New York City having a low turnout and New York can turn for a Republican because upstate is very, very red. It's very white and it's very Republican. At the end of the day, I don't like Trump. I'm not very excited about Biden, but Biden is not going to put kids in cages and Biden is not going to ignore alerts about a pandemic for six months straight and then be taking essential materials from other countries and giving it to businesses so businesses can then sell those materials at a spiked up market rate so they can make money. We wouldn't be having that with Biden. And that's just a fact. Evan, before we start wrapping this conversation. Yeah, I got to say something that Stanley, I agree with you, but I disagree with the notion it's immature. Listen, there are women who have been are sexual assault survivors. If they don't want to vote for another predator, that is completely their right. And it is not immature and it's not misguided because there's, this is what they've gone through. So yes, from a, from a or aggregate perspective, I agree with you because we're going to have a Supreme Court pick soon when Ginsburg is no longer there. And who do you want, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? I want Joe Biden. I think the immigration uh, policies will get better, and I know for damn sure he would have held COVID, handled COVID much more in advance, and, there, and people, especially people of color's lives, have suffered as a result. But as an individual decision, I'm not for shaming, I'm not for saying – classifying it that way, if you are a survivor of assault and these are your options, I do understand why you would stay home. I would hope you see the bigger picture, but I'm not that person. I did not have that experience. So I understand why you stay home for a sexual predator. 